Welcome to the spring edition of FEL Today. I'm Tony Kubek. And I'm Trisha Monkey. Can you believe we're closing in on the end of another school year? Second semester is always busy with Winterfest, Discover FEL Day, and all the sports action. And did you hear about the great new FEL Schools event in March? That's right. FEL Schools hosted their second annual Daddy Daughter Dance. Young princesses and their kings gathered to spend an afternoon together, filled with dancing, games, crafts, and prizes. I'm sure they created memories to last a lifetime, Tony. Our FEL Schools Promotions Coordinator, Heather Gear told us about the dance. This event is really getting our name out there, getting people to understand who we are, that it's not just the high school, it's all of our grade schools combining together, partnering together. We have a magician that will be wandering around. We still have the photo booth. Uh, we have donations from local businesses, food donations, beverage donations. We also have our, our DJ in there doing the limbo and playing other fun dances to really get the dads and the daughters interacting. Our dance team is also going to be performing and they're going to try and teach the dads and the daughters a little dance. Take a look at our website www.felschools.org and we'll have some pictures of the dance posted on that. Also make sure to visit our Facebook page. We just started it this year and I'll be posting a lot of the daddy daughter dance pictures on there as well. Stay tuned for details for uh, next year's Daddy Daughter Dance. It's going to be just as exciting. We try to add a little bit more each year, so um, hopefully you can join us. What a fabulous day. Heather and her committee created a wonderful afternoon event, and I'm looking forward to seeing more special FEL schools events like this one in the future. Tony, can you imagine having over 2,500 students in this building? That's more than four times FEL's current enrollment, Tricia. You're right. But that's how many students will be here for our Willing Hands, Thankful Hearts Food Packing Days on April 25th and 26th. Together, the FEL schools are raising $50,000 to supply 285,000 meals. Students from kindergarten through high school seniors will be packing meals to make a difference in the lives of people from the Dominican Republic. Schools raised money in all kinds of ways. St. Paul's School in Appleton held Penny Wars. Each class has a big jar by the front entrance. Penny Wars are um, kind of a, a competition that we have among the kids. They bring in their own pennies and other monies. The pennies that they bring in go in their own jars. And then the silver money and the paper money they put in other grades jars. And that amount cancels out that amount of pennies. So, if you put in a dollar, that would cancel out a hundred pennies. Um, and it's really not about the penny wars. It's the opportunity for the kids to see their mission offerings being used in a tangible way uh, to benefit the Willing Hands Thankful Hearts uh, food packing program up at FVL uh, and helping people out who don't have the same necessities of life that these kids have on an everyday basis. Looks like they were having lots of fun putting their faith into action. FEL students tried something a little different, too. They held a big laser tag tournament to raise funds. Everybody was a winner that day, as they raised about $1,000. I'm looking forward to seeing our gym packed with students, like it was when we did Children Feeding Thousands in 2009. Students working together to provide meals for people most of them will never even meet. That truly fits with FEL's mission statement, Tony. It does. Working to develop faith, values, and learning in our Christ-centered schools, all while preparing our students for lives of service now and for eternity. Want to know a little secret, Tricia? What's that, Tony? FEL is celebrating 60 years of teen ministry this year. I haven't heard anything about that. The high school opened its doors in 1953 with only eight students. And since that time, we've had almost 7,500 students attend FEL. The Lord certainly has blessed FEL over the years. Is there a special celebration planned? Have you heard about the 60 for 60 campaign? What's that? Contacts have already been made with FEL graduates and friends to see if they'd be willing to donate $60 in honor of the 60th anniversary. What would these gifts be used for? 
It would go to the FVL Foundation to help them achieve their goal of reaching $5 million in assets. So what does the FVL Foundation do? Tricia, the FVL Foundation plays a vital role in the stability of our school ministry. How do they do that? The FVL Foundation was established in 1967 to provide tuition assistance for FVL students. Tuition assistant needs keep growing. And it helps with more than that. We spoke with Foundation board member Gary Vandenhevel. Since 1967, the Foundation has received over 2.9 million in gifts and has given out 2.7 million in tuition assistance to students and for faculty continuing education. The Foundation currently has almost 3 million in assets. Thank you very much for helping us keep Christian education affordable for the families in our Federation. I hope this effort doesn't remain a secret. Giving 60 for 60 is a great and affordable way to help secure FEL's future. Well, that brings us to the end of the Spring 2013 edition of FEL Today. Thank you for joining us. And please, remember FEL in your thoughts, prayers, and gifts. See you next time.